Hey guys, Jason here and stopping in for another five minute lesson. And today I wanna to talk to you about something important as a property investor. We need to understand how value, how wealth, how money, how equity is created uh, in real estate. And there's a couple of uh, forces that can add value to real estate, create wealth or equity, or uh, to be honest, take it away. Um, and uh, those two forces, if you haven't already guessed, it's written on the board. There's you, what you do as a property investor, the decisions you make, the types of deals you choose. And then there's the marketplace, the big unwieldy thing you've got no control over, stomps around and does things, adds value, take value away. Um, um, and for most of us as property investors, we've got to uh, be patient and uh, understand that markets go up and down and in and out, round and around. Uh, but uh, if we stay the distance, that's when the marketplace does reward us over the long term. Short term, it can be a little bit unsettling. So let's go through this today. Six ways or six things you can do as a property investor to add value, create instant equity, or, uh, or get the wealth created in your property. Let's have a look. Number one, the easiest, fastest, simplest way to create value in property is grab yourself a discount on the property. So buying property at a discount sounds very simple, doesn't it? Uh, not as easy as it sounds, but certainly when somebody's asking $500,000, $600,000, and you can buy the property for 480, 460, 450. Um, you get yourself a discount. Instantly, you will recognize that, uh, that value if it's true value. If the true value is 500 and you can get it for 480, 460, 450, then that's an instant equity in your portfolio. Now, listen, a lot of people say, oh, well, why would someone sell you something for less than it's worth? It happens all day, every day. Stop asking questions that uh, literally have a gazillion answers. I'm absolutely sure that you've sold something below value before for certain reasons. Why, you know, because you had to let it go, you're under pressure, you needed to get rid of it, you didn't care, you didn't know, etc. Buy something at a discount, that's more money in your pocket, you pay less, instant equity for you. Number two, how do you can add value to real estate? We call this sweat equity or sweat your way to wealth, which is renovate. Now, when I talk renovations, I talk between zero and maybe $30,000 maximum. Anything more than that starts to become a small development or project, okay? So renovating a property, I love renovating an older property if you're going to buy one to increase the rent. If the rent's 400 and you can spend 10 or $15,000 and then you can put the rent up for 450 or 500, boom, instant uh, cash flow at the very least. Often you don't get a major equity boost in that one, but instant cash flow, wealth in your pocket, so you can renovate your property, get the cash flow going nice and fast. Now even properties that are you know five, six, eight years old sometimes need a renovation because they weren't very good at the first place. But renovate your property. A third way for us to get something going um, in, uh, in wealth, real estate, is to buy some land and you can build something, land and build, okay? And so as property investors, we can purchase land in and around Australia and construct a house. Now, I love this one because if you do that right, the underlying land value carries some great value. It halves your stamp duty because you only buy, uh, you only pay stamp duty on the land value and you build and construct something that's good. Now, listen, at the end of the day, um, whether you do that in a vacant lot in a suburb or you do it in a, in a state, you've got to know a few things. We call it the seven pillars of wealth. But that's another way for you to choose something and add some value, add some value um, and know what you're doing. And so land and build. Uh, another way is to um, uh, add some paper value. Uh, I'm going to put paper down here. Actually, next one is off the plan. Okay, so off the plan, buying a property that a developer or builder is going to build in the future. And so what do you get for that? What value do you get for off the plan? You get time. And I'm not going to go through that in detail today, but you put down a deposit today and you control that property, no more expenses, no more nothing uh, for two years time. Now you've got to get it right, you've got to choose the right market to do that in, but it's a very powerful technique if you do it right as a property investor. So off the plan, buying something, putting a small deposit down, controlling the real estate for two years time or 18 months time. The next one, like I said before, was adding paper value. How do you add paper value to real estate? Well, uh, you buy real estate that can be uh, developed or improved from what it is. So it's called the highest and best use of real estate, okay? And so uh, I just did a little project. I bought an old house and I got a development approval 
for um, a little bit of commercial plus some apartments on top. So it used to be an old house. It's zoning, underlying zoning was uh, residential mixed use. And so I went to council, I paid some money, got some plans done up, and I added some paper value. I haven't knocked the house down, I haven't built anything yet, and my value has risen from 600 to 900 by adding the paper value. Adding paper value, it's a good way to do it. Many people go out there and do it. And then last but not least, the big kahuna is you can develop. You can totally add the paper value and, and knock the house down and build the whole thing. There you go. Six things you can do as a property investor, the types of deals that you choose, how you add value to the real estate, okay? Um, and that's an important thing to be aware of. Let's talk about the marketplace. Let's talk about what happens out in the marketplace, how uh, we need to look at the economy, the certain things that happen to add value. The marketplace, the big kahunas, the top three, the top three, population, where there are people. If populations are dwindling, you don't put your money there. If populations are increasing, that's where you gotta put your money. Infrastructure um, and infrastructure spending, okay? Where governments and cities are investing in their city, continuously upgrading, where there is money, there will be the next thing which is important, um, employment, okay? They call it easy as pie. These ones are short term, it goes up and down, round and round, and gives us a little bit of short term grief. Interest rates, okay? High interest rates, low interest rates, uncertainty about lending um, and finance, um, they certainly have some effects in the marketplace, value uh, increasing, not creasing, whatever it might be. Um, politics, okay, politics and policy. Okay, so changes to this, changes to that, uncertainty about who's gonna get in, why, what they're gonna do, all those sorts of things. These ones certainly give us a little bit of the heebie-jeebies. Um, and media, okay, media. Oh, the market's hot, oh, it's not hot, it's great, it's not great, all this sort of malarkey. This is short term, okay, um, and by and large, as far as I'm concerned, other than making sure you can afford your loan, um, the re that should be completely ignored because as a property investor, we're looking 10, 15, 20 years down the track as a long-term buy and hold property investor. Short, uh, long-term, which we want population, infrastructure, employment. Short-term, okay, understand it. This one is poison, um, avoid it, it's rubbish. The rest of it's up to you. So there you go, guys. Hopefully that lesson was good today. You, how you decide to add value, the types of deals that you do, how the market can add value, combine the two, um, and in the middle, um, you need to make sure you buy the best location your dollars can buy. All right, so there you go, five minute lesson. Uh, if you wanna know more, reach out to your coach. Uh, for all those in mentoring, get, uh, reach out to your coach. If you wanna catch up for a meeting, uh, come along to one of the workshops or the property information nights near you. All right, guys, take care. See you soon and bye for now.